welcome everyone to our Aussie YouTube hop. Auntie Vera Scraps has kindly sponsored this hop this month, so thank you very much Auntie Vera. In order to win the fabulous prize that I showed you earlier, all you have to do is comment at the end of this video. There will be a link to the next participant, which is Amira, and you then watch her video and comment on her video and so forth and so forth. Once you have watched everyone's videos and commented on, on all the videos, you will be in with a chance to win the fabulous kit from Auntie Vera. Auntie Vera Scraps was generous enough to supply all us participants with something from the kit. And I was lucky enough to score the Cartabella Ephemera pack called Hello Fall, as well as the Eco Park decorative rub-ons called Perfect Autumn by Laurie Whitlock. So I started this layout by going through the ephemera first and seeing what I could use and trying to get an idea of where this layout might go. Once I became familiar with the colour scheme of the ephemera and the decorative rub-ons, I decided to choose my photo and I picked this lovely photo of my mum with my children. I keep my tray of scraps right next to me, so every time I do a layout, I do try to go through my tray of scraps and see what I can use. My first step is to try to work out how I'm going to map this photo. I do end up using some of the scraps from my trusty little tray of scraps that I keep. And from my scrap tray, I also find another piece of paper, which I will do something I have not done for a very long time, and that is use my cuddle bug. But since I've put all my dies into this wonderful folder that I created, I hope I will use my cuddle bug a lot more. So one of the dies that I picked was this lovely decorative border die that I've had for a while and have not used for so long. And for some added texture, what I did do is I did run my decorative border cut uh, through an embossing folder as well. Because I had all these lovely little holes poking through it, I decided that I was going to glue it onto a second piece of scrap paper just to give it a bit more dimension. After going through my papers, I must admit I fell in love with this Kaisercraft paper from the Lady Rose collection. It's called Clara, it's paper 1320. And because it was so busy, I decided I was going to gut it first and then I was going to add some oh, cardstock. Now, just to tie in the cardstock a bit more with the theme of the paper and the theme of the layout, I do use the Distress Oxide in Walnut Stain. And you just see me, now that the glue is dried on that lovely decorative border, I'm uh, just fussy cutting it out. I absolutely love how once I added this decorative border to the top and the bottom of the photo, how it just draws your eye into it. And it, it just added a elegant touch to the layout. To further draw your eye to the photo, I do add a third mat to it. And this piece of paper is also from my scrap drawer, so yay. And for a bit more texture, you will see me distress the edges of it, and then I will be inking it with the Distress Oxide in Walnut Stain. I also ink around the edges of my decorative die cut, and all I use is a Tomboy marker, and it's just a brown colour. Inking the edges of my paper is a compulsion of mine, I must admit. I just hate seeing those raw white edges. Just going to do my photo down now to that lovely paper, and I give it a bit of a trim, and of course I'm going to ink the edges. Once all my edges are inked, to my satisfaction, I do start playing with the ephemera. This little piece here, I knew I wasn't going to use those words ever, so I just cut it in half and they end up being pops of colour behind my paper. This die cut that says thankful for you, that ends up being the title of this layout really. And I tried really hard to use this blessed die cut but it just somehow did not work and I love these little banners and I play with them for a while and in the end they do land up in that little corner. 
I must admit that using this ephemera pack was a bit of a struggle for me. It was a challenge. Ephemera is not something that I use a lot of. So, yeah, thanks, Auntie Vera, because it's always good to get out of your comfort zone. I fell in love with these little trees that were on this die cut, so I decided that I was going to fussy cut them out and use them down in that bottom bottom corner there. And there was another little tree, so I thought, yes, I'll put three little trees there. And I'm sure that's not what they were intended to be used for, but hey, that's how I wanted to use my firm pack. And who says you can't change the look of things, hey? When I use rub-ons, I generally do cut the pieces out and then put them where I think I'm going to use them. And so that's what you see me do here. And I'm just using the rub-on that says Grateful Heart and I'm putting it underneath the little where my little banner is going to go. So here I am, I'm just gluing my little three little banners to that, I don't know, that tag that the uh, trees were from. And then I just cut that lovely banner that's at the top there and that lands up being one of my little embellishments at the top on that corner. Now I'm going to work with my little cluster of trees and I decided that they might look cute behind the little log that's a part of the, the rub-ons. So I think I glued down my little trees and I'm just rubbing the rub on over the trees and I quite like the effect that that had. I'll next be working on the title which is Thankful For You and I really love this tag so I'm just trying to mat it on another piece of paper and I'll end up using something from my scrap bin once again so it's always handy to have your little scrap tray because you do dip into it if it's right there in front of you. The paper wasn't long enough, so I just end up cutting it and making a strip going diagonally across. And then I just lay my thankful for you tag over that. And I just love how that die cut sits there. As soon as I saw this little birdie rub on, I just knew I had to use it on this page because my mum just loves birds. Because I didn't know exactly where I was going to use my birdie, all I did was I just rubbed it onto some scrap paper and then fussy cut it out. I land up putting it in that little corner using a, a glue dot and then I on the rub-ons there's all these lovely little leaves which you just see me rubbing on there and unfortunately they don't stay there. In the top left hand corner I will be adding a flower rub-on and also a rub-on that says thankful, which sort of ties in with everything about this layout, which is how thankful I am for my mum. I do land up dipping into my little tray of scraps because once I look at this layout, I just thought it needed an extra something. I wanted to bring in a bit more green to the layout, so that's exactly what I'm doing now. In the ephemera pack I find this lovely die cut that says gather together and I just thought that was so appropriate because my mum loves gathering her family together around her. I recently bought this lovely lovely paper pad it's um, Subi pad it's called and it's actually Chinese rice paper. I thought this paper would make some lovely little leaves and believe me it really does I was really happy with how these leaves turned out. So what you see me doing is just putting some distress oxides onto my mat and then I spritz it with some water and I pick it up with that lovely rice paper. The first colour I used was walnut stain. Then I go in with some mm, peeled paint and I repeat this process a number of times till I basically cover this piece of paper with lots of colour. All I was trying to do was just replicate the look of leaves once they've fallen from the trees. You know how they're sort of different colours, they have a bit of green in them, a bit of brown, a bit of orange. That's all I was trying to do. So I got a little bit impatient, so I got out the peeled paint distress oxides and I'm just rubbing it onto the rest of the paper after I did blow dry it. with the, Not blow dry it, I used my heat gun to dry it. To add some of that golden colour to the leaves. I'm using the fossilised amber distressed oxide and I'm just putting over the top and it just comes out gorgeous. 
I will definitely be playing with this paper a little bit more in the future because I just love it. I did dry my distress oxides between each layer just so that um, it would get that oxidized effect that the distress oxides are famous for. And I just love, love, love how this paper turned out. Just look at that. Oh. Then I go back to my die folder and I pull out all my little leaf leaf dies and I just go back to my cuddle bug and I cut out a whole bunch of leaves. Look at that. Oh. I just really, really love the effect and they did look like real leaves. I am definitely going to be playing a lot more with this rice paper. I'm trying to get the effect of the leaves gently cascading down from the trees. You know when there's that gust of wind and then you just see the leaves falling off the trees and they just sort of gently fall all the way down? That's the effect that I'm going for. And down the bottom here, I'm just trying to lay a carpet of leaves. I don't know about you, but when I go for bush walks in autumn and the leaves have all fallen down, you just have that carpet of these beautiful colours of orange and bits of greens and browns and you, and you know they crunch everywhere underneath your feet. I just love that. So that's the effect, that carpet of leaves that I was trying, trying to go for down the bottom there. And here are some close-ups and of course I did some journaling. So I'm just trying to show you those leaves and just how effective that rice paper was. So I hope you're all enjoying the hop and here are some close-ups. Till next time, uh, just remember to comment on everyone's videos. Bye now.